welcome guys to another video on the Lost Gen series. What we're doing is playing another game that was popular back in the day. And not a lot of people know about it. Need for Speed Shift. Need for Speed mixed with Motorsport, Green Treads Mo. Basically. What we are what you should expect from this game. So, set this stuff up and I haven't played this game for like gone in the long five, six years, even more. Let's go career mode, let's go. The best drivers, the most powerful cars, the highest stakes. Only the truly gifted make it to the NFS World Tour. You need to prove yourself right away. Stand out, master new skills, and test your abilities to move through the tiers. You'll race on world-renowned tracks, gain entry to new competitions, and drive the most sought-after cars in the world. Your goal and final destination is the NFS World Tour. Where only the top racers in the world will battle it out for the championship. We have a great opportunity ahead of us. We've secured a car for the race at Brands Hatch. This is the first step in your career toward the NFS World Tour. Let's get out there. Let's do it. Of course, we won't complete the whole game in this video. It's just me coming back, playing the game probably half an hour this video will be and that will probably be it <laughs> not going to make this a full series like the Horizon 1 series which if you guys didn't watch the old video the first video so let's show them what we can do with this thing okay that's what I'm making a series and like I explained We're that I would have done place to free first really but they didn't want to work so we have some 16 playing these games but we're about to get into the game so let's Pretty sure this was okay, uh, telemetry is recording. Take a lap and we'll get some settings dialed in for you. Put them up to medium not easy because make it a bit more difficult for us. I don't really care if I don't completely win in this. Oh, I guess first place you could do win 40 grand and spend on a car. I should have probably left them easy so I can get a good car then put it up. But it doesn't matter how we go. Just enjoying this. Not trying to make it a full series and try and make it the best of the best I could do. So we'll just. Have fun while we're at it. Um, the better you do out there today, the more cash we'll have for a car. Mm -hmm. so now, I've only got one place. shot to make some money, so let's place well, alright? So go for the podium. You can only get one car, and then if you win the 40 grand, you probably get the best car. 10 seconds to roll off. Now just stay focused out there, you'll do fine. Jeez, Here we go. Good luck. Good luck. You never see people walk around. It's kind of cool. 
since this is a sim. Might be the first person for the first place. Oh shit, this is very disgusting. Got me back. Okay. Trying to come do a plane race. Oh, it's a little bit more difficult. Jeez, why didn't you just be taking? Built into world games. This feels like amazing to handle in this game. You just beat 21, then you can just take the handle and shift in this game and just get straight in to that game. I hope you said this is way better than I need to do need to speed games. Yeah, it's always a racing game, so. Still, yeah. Yeah, 55 seconds. I knew I could go faster. Yeah, nice one. Great podium placing. It's really going to start us out on the right foot. <laughs> 40 grand. Let's see what car we can buy for 40 grand in this game. Don't know. I've heard that it's really easy to get money in this game and really easy to buy all the upgrades. And, uh, well, that just wants enough money off. to get a car and start Let's our own career. Yeah. Looks like we're going to head overseas now. We're racing right. on some tight city courses and some fast technical circuits. I've lined us up some special events I think will really challenge your skills. Going to be a lot of talented drivers out there. If you want to prove yourself, you've got to sharpen your driving style. But keep your eye on the prize. A lot of tears to work your way through. But remember... The ultimate goal is the NFS World Tour and the championship. Okay, mate, this is where your racing career begins. All right. So, uh, we've got a bit of cash to play with from your race winnings. Let's get ourselves a new ride, all right? Now, you can either spend all your money on a car up front or save some extra cash for upgrades. Keep in mind, not all cars can take nitrous or compete in drift races, and only some cars can be works converted. And remember, if you ever want to sell your car, just head over to my cars. Okay, then. Let's have a look oh. around. Why can't I get a G35? Oh, come on. That's... It could be used for drift and nitrous. S14, S13, this is a 40, 240SX, S13. Quite a lot of cars, like jeez. I expect this many cars, they come straight off, straight off the lot. Alright, I think one of the first cars are probably the better ones. What is this car boat? Ah, uh, I thought it might have been a Camaro. Oh, car boat, is that the fastest thing in the world? <laughs> Cost worth? Ooh. I might need to grab that car. I'm the Civic S2000 though. 
That's clean. I just wish I could take this. Wish I could take it. Well, it's easy to get money in this game. Buy an S2000, because why not? And then I get the G35 by the end of this video. Never mind. There we go. S2000 it is. Alright, nice choice. And we're starting off with tier one race competitions. If we can earn enough stars in these races, we should be able to unlock more events. Earning stars will also help us gain access to a higher level of competition in tier two. Let's get straight into it, I guess then. Okay, here we go, mate. This is where we find out what kind of driver you really are. You can be aggressive. Precise. Either way, you'll be scored and analyzed based on your actions on the track. The more points you earn, the faster you'll level up your driver profile to gain rewards. You gotta that's actually, stars to I forgot that's, to the championship. Remember, that's a cool way it's not just about first place. Get anywhere the game. on that podium and it'll count. How you, you can get also earn stars by hitting profile point targets and how you drive and what you do. A lot of ways out there to boost your career. Imagine what you're going to be Most known by how you drive on the track, but you've got to earn enough stars to get to the like NFS the World Tour. Of one of these. About 99% of the players, okay, here we go. or Let's probably 95% kind of really players, are. would be aggressive. The other 5% would be pretty clean drivers. Or oh, probably more Horizon. You see all the lobbies and everything else like that online, and for the lobbies are just crazy. Bunch of five, ten year olds trying to drive cars and smash into people. <laughs> oh well, let's see how we go. From just doing the practice in that beamer, the game feels really good. Alright, a few seconds to green here. We want to drive for the podium. Have fun, be careful. Maybe that depends what difficulty you are. Let's see how to change it. Green, go, go, go! Tried to be clean. Alright, let's press it. Yeah, I think I'm more of an aggressive. Nice one. Earning stars takes us one step closer to the world tour. Keep earning them to unlock more tiers and races. Oh, no way. Shit. Where the hell are you This is slamming the brakes now. Oh, Let's okay. go. Okay, you just maxed oh. out your profile point meter. Extra moves now will get you double points. Hurry though, it doesn't last long. I feel like Forza keep clicking down and left behind me. Still, I'm just thinking about copy. Yes, I think it's pretty cool. It's realistic. Changing uh, to change the gears, but it changes the gear for me. So. Full grain for that? First place? 
think we're getting it. Am I more aggressive? Oh, I'm a little bit in between there. More of a system driver. I think that thing. All five stars only. Best lap. 56 seconds. I'm actually enjoying this. You know that it's only been a first race and it's a racing game. But I'm enjoying this quite well. I like a lot. Surprisingly. The game I didn't think I was going to enjoy too, too much, but... There are upgrades we can do. Okay, this is where we can improve performance, handling, and bodywork. Your choice as to where we start. Got a North Kid. I mean, why not? <laughs> we'll put North in this car. Just give us some North and then right towards that G35. That's it, I'll probably do this as a half an hour video, so we'll see if we'll make it. If not, and I can't really have a G35. Also, slap trains. Real life drift car now. Real life car is G35. That means like one of the best sim drifters. One of them. There are quite a lot of good sim drifters out there, like Sea Terrain or some other ones that have happened. I can't remember what's up in the head and I can't mention right now, but... Alright, I'm going to try to concentrate on... That's understood. Crap, man. I'm trying to look at the crossing right now. So drafting is aggressive driving. Oh, come on, I'm not sure this is Please choose where you want to use it. That's actually kind of cool, but it makes you go a bit too fast. Hell, he, this handle. I know they try to make this more of a sim racing, so this is getting more sim racing physics. And actually, I'm going to need to speed, it's need to speed. More than arcade racing. <laughs> I wonder if you get your mouse back at the end of the tracks. We're about to find out there. Oh wow, we didn't get that last star. Let's see where I was more aggressive or... Yeah, less aggressive this time. This game could actually make you a better driver by how they set it up. 
you could probably get 10 times better of your racing and driving with this. So we need 30 stars until we unlock to it too. So that's all the aggressive actions that you can get for aggressive points. So I didn't know that, like the whole drafting, they count that as aggressive actions. So this is a way of racing. You get behind someone, get a bit faster, and just go for that overtake. All right, a few seconds to green here. We want to try for the podium. Have fun, be careful. was a slide of it. <laughs> nice one, you just got a minor badge. If you get all minor badges in each category, you'll get an epic badge. This one is definitely being wide a lot more aggressive than it is. This is kind of cool using the bank. This one will definitely really aggressive. Got both stars this time, that's good then. So you get four, four grand every race. Man. I thought it was more aggressive. Oh well. I'm not complaining. It's good to see and reflect on how how I am with driving in the racing games because never really thought about uh, being aggressive and aggressive. You know what, why not? I don't like this new one. Just give it a try. different series. Okay, right. BMW is providing the 135i for all drivers competing in this event. Ah. I don't understand what this is. This is all... Everybody gets the same car when you race. Doesn't matter. It's all drivers. Like how good of a driver you are. It's not about if your car's better or not. Oh, we'll see. But look at how long they've recorded for. We might not be getting a G35 in this playthrough of this, but 
you know, unless I play for a bit. And then I'll put it in the All right, a few seconds to green here. Five. We want to try for the podium. Have fun, and, uh, be careful. Make it into drift car because I mean, drifting in this game is hard. Right. Green, go, go, go. Look at the choice of being a fan of the car. I really can still manually change the gears. Whoosh. Shoot. You can change the gears and not early. Because you can't really let it rev out. Well done. Get that increase your driver level. Driver levels on off different rewards throughout your career. Dead didn't really slow me off too much. I think it was just how far I was going. Oh, that guy just turned straight in front of me. Couldn't do much about that. Steering. I don't know if it's just a controller or it's just a game. Can you touch the steering? to get the more blurry oh, that corner again the more blurry a character is like this one gets I never do any race car especially at speed so go knows what it's actually like I don't know how to do a middle one Way more aggressive that time, look at that. Way more aggressive. What does that do to my... No, I'm still... Too passive. Where are you? And 15 grand... In sponsors. Goddamn. Okay, so what I might do... So end this here, but not the whole video, end this here, I'll earn a bit more money, get a G35, make it a drift car, and then I'll come back. And Look good out there, promoters are already calling. We can expect to invite some more events. Keep an eye out, I'll keep them po- This is skills in tier 2. Almost got tier 2 events. So. Yeah, I'll get myself a G35. I'm close to it, but I'm pretty sure with drifting, 
you might need a bit more money, but I'll come back. Oh, well, you guys will see me just in a second after I'm done with this, but I'll see you guys when I have the G35 drift car ready to go. Alright guys, so I said that I might not make this full series, but I'm having so much fun. I'm tier 2 now, about to do drifting, but I have a feeling that I'm just loving this game right now, so sure what I said in the at the start of this, like, oh, this is only a first series? Nah, no, I'm making this a full series. Getting to the Need for Speed World Tour. That's what we're going to do. We're going to complete this game. I'm enjoying it heaps. I'm going to bring you guys along even more. Of course, I did all these. Of course, when I stopped recording, and I was like, Oh yeah, stop recording make it easier for myself as they're worrying about um, recording then having to edit out the bits I don't need. But then I was racing, of course, with the 350Z and of course the biggest and most craziest crash had to happen. I got, I was trying to squeeze between this, this car and a wall and then we just got by and then he pitted me and I just went flying completely into a wall and it was just crazy everything. But I still won the race, so that's all that does. But like I said, I'm gonna complete this off completely, so I'll see you guys in the second part. <laughs> 